What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'm back again with my 5.8 quart Kasori air fryer. And today, for dinner for you guys, I'm gonna make Doug style spicy fried chicken. So, this is two thighs and three legs. I've uh, seasoned this, I uh, let it sit out for like uh, about two hours, I think maybe even three hours. But I seasoned it with some cayenne pepper. I also put some paprika there, some nice coloring. Went overboard with some red pepper chips. Oh, yeah. And threw in some of my go to pink salt, black pepper, and garlic. All right. I'm going to finish this bag of Hooters um, wing breading. It's pretty good stuff, guys. If you haven't checked this out, definitely check it out. I definitely have this breading in my top three, for sure. Now, feel free to use whatever seasoning you want. Now, you know, like, this is a favorite in my group, Kentucky Colonel. You could even go with some chicken crack. Whatever, whatever floats your boat, definitely use it. You'll work with this recipe. It's just that, you know, my Hooters has been sitting there for, like, three months. Uh, half a bag, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and finish it today. So I'm gonna do two at a time, y'all. Shake it up in this bag. I'll be back. Went ahead and stepped up my game, y'all. So in my Evo oil sprayer, I no longer have olive oil, which there's nothing wrong with olive oil. That's the standard with air frying. But I'm gonna step up my game since I've been air frying for what three, four years. I'm going to step it up to avocado oil, y'all. So, I'm going to take my evil sprayer and just hit it till the flour, you don't see too much of the flour. But I'm not done yet. I'm going to add this as a final coating. That's going to make it good, nice and spicy. That's duck style right there. And we're going to turn it over and do the same thing. All right, we're ready to put it in the air fryer basket and get the air fryer. This is what we're looking like, guys. So we're ready to put it in the air fryer. All right, guys, I want this to alert me halfway, so I click fries, and I'm going to do, I'm going to do 390 for 26 minutes, because I got thighs in there. That cooks a little, that takes a little longer. So halfway, at 13 minutes, it should alert me. I'll show you. And only Kasori could do this. Now, I definitely smell some peppers up in here. <laughs> See? At 13 minutes, the same shake. So that's... I'm not going to shake it. I'm going to flip it over. So let's take it out and see what we're looking like anyway. Alright, this is what we're looking like. I'm thinking this... The black stuff you see, I'm thinking that's the... The, uh... What do you call it? The dash... Um, seasoning. So I just put it on there um, after I hit, hit it with some oil. But I think when I'm done with this it won't look like that. So It is smelling good though. It is smelling good. Cool. Alright guys. <clears throat> This is what we're looking like. So I took it off three minutes early. And you know what confused me, I guess, with this one? I remember doing uh, legs and thighs in my Ninja 4 quart, which is 1,500 watts. This is 1,700 watts. So I guess if, if I were to do this again, I wouldn't have it at 390. Maybe I'd bump it down to 375. Um, but I cut it three minutes early. 
and we're good. I checked the uh, meat thermometer. It was, uh, I think it was like almost at 180. So it was like 178 or something. So we're good to go there. So I'll let these cool off and we're going to have a bite to eat. Smelling fantastic, guys. Shout out to my Kitchen Gadgets group on Facebook one time. So guys, if I were to do this again, I took three minutes off, but I, you know, just to round it up, I'd do it for about 22 minutes. Yeah, about 22 minutes sounds right. I'd flip at 12 and I'd do uh, 370 to 375 if I were to do this again. But we still going to eat and I bet it's still going to taste fantastic. Take a look, guys. Take a bite first. I want to see how spicy this is going to be. Oh, yeah. Okay. I taste the spice, but this is it's not as hot as you think it is. This is just as hot as a Chick fil A spicy chicken sandwich or a Popeye's spicy. Not not hotter than that. Like I don't need water. Like I, I'm not like, oh my God, my mouth is burning. No. Cool. Let me take another bite. Juicy. Mmm. Take a bite out of this. Yeah, I like the spices. Like I said, if you can handle Chick-fil-A spice, Popeye spice, Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich, then all those spices are right on par with that. Have a bite. Don't worry about the black stuff. Mmm. <laughs> That's good. That is good. I like this. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Okay, now I need some water. <laughs> but, you know, if I was at Chick-fil-A having their spicy chicken sandwich... By now, you know, two, three bites in, yeah, I'd need something to wash it down. Yeah, now I'm good. All right. Have some of my low-carb Mac with me. It's good. Got it? Very good. Some shredded green beans with me. I bought these by mistake the other... A week at um, Food Line, but I love green beans. I was like, I'll eat them someday. And today is the day. Well, I had half the bag anyway. No, not even half the bag, but that's good. Yeah, it works. Well, guys, I'm gonna sit down and enjoy this, man. This is a fun little experiment. And it came out, I knew if I did it this way, it wouldn't be super spicy. It would be just as, I was predicting it would be just as spicy as it was. Like, no different, like I said, than Chick-fil-A, Popeye's, Wendy's. Same, it's hot, but it's not like, oh my gosh, you know, I have to put my mouth under the faucet hot. So, if you like spicy stuff from those restaurants and you want to make some spicy chicken for yourself, try it out. Don't be afraid. It's not, you know, I thought, you know, back in the days I would have thought, man, if I season my chicken with cayenne pepper and, and red chips and then put some more spice on the, uh, the flour, oh my goodness, it's going to be super hot. Nope. So definitely try it out. Guys, I'm going to put a link in the description to my air fryer group. It's called Air Frying with Doug. It's a great group. We have over 55,000 members in there. If you have an air fryer, a Kasori, uh, a Ninja, uh, Cook's Essentials, no matter what you got, come in there, 
share your recipes, or do a search and get recipes. Because that's how we roll. All right. I'm also going to leave a link in the description to my merch. I got shirts. I got cooking with Doug aprons and handbags. If you got um, an Instagram, look me up, Cooking with Doug on Instagram. If you have a Spotify or iTunes, look me up, Cooking with Doug. Listen to my podcast. Um, but that's, uh, that's all I got. So hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. And if anything, thanks for just looking at my video, y'all. It's Cooking with Doug. And I'm out.